Welcome back, AZ Overland here. We are taking the trip up today to Wickenburg and Box Canyon Trail. So we're gonna do a little wheeling off-road and then uh, go get some lunch in town, one of our favorite spots. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Life ain't easy, y'all, I think there's a reason, though Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all After airing down at the staging area, we headed down a steep descent into the Box Canyon. It led us out into the long, wide, sandy Hasayampa River bottom. As we looked around, we noticed there were a number of places or paths we can head down. So we kind of just stood back, put the drone in the air to get some footage, and watched the other people to see where they headed. Once we figured out where we were going, we headed in that direction. And man, we were pleasantly surprised at some of the scenes we were about to see. There were some areas with some deep sand that was surprisingly fun to drive over as we headed in a little bit further into the Box Canyon. This trail is only about six miles out and back, so it didn't take very long on the sand before it led us into the actual canyon where we were surrounded by the mountains and had a chance to enjoy some of the water running along the bottom. We're in the canyon right now and probably about a half hour, 45 minutes in or so, we're getting some footage. But I can tell you, man, this is without a doubt the best trail I've been on uh, in Arizona. I haven't been on a lot of trails, but I've been on a handful of them, and this is by far the funnest. I'm going to turn this camera around and show you a couple of reasons why. So you're actually in the canyon, and I mean, what a great place is water, mud, there's deep sand, uh, there's hills, and there's so many different varieties of uh, elevations that you can go. So not only is it just absolutely beautiful, but there's definitely some challenging areas that you can test out. We're surrounded by the mountains and we're just down here in the canyon where the water is running through right now and uh, just enjoying this. What a great off-road trail if you want to do some wheeling here in Arizona. Fox Canyon, Wickenburg.
had my brother Joe get up in front and lead the way as the canyon started to narrow down. We moved forward, getting through the water, and came across a few groups on the way. Everyone was really friendly. It wasn't overly crowded at all. This was a weekday, which is when we like to travel to avoid the crowds on the weekends. We did notice something interesting, however. Out of some of these groups, it seemed like there were a number of them that were panning for metals. I'm not sure exactly what they were looking for, but they had metal detectors out and they had uh, something similar to like a gold pan where they were sifting through the dirt. After a little bit of driving, we came to an area which we thought was very close to the end of the trail and decided that we were going to hop out of the vehicles and kind of enjoy the surroundings here as well. We let Loki out to stretch his legs and let him off leash and did a little playing with him so he can have some fun in the water as well. As a fun side note, there's a local legend that says anyone who drinks from the river can never tell the truth again. I'm pretty sure I know a few people in my life who may have consumed some of this magical water. Anyway, with mouths dry, we jumped back in the trucks and started our way back. I'm not sure what it is with my brother, but it seems like the more rugged the terrain becomes, the faster he drives. So here I am again, trying to play catch up to Joe. After driving back through the sandy bottoms, we went up this hill and ended up back at the staging area where we aired back up and headed into town for lunch. As always, thank you so much for joining us on this trip and please like, subscribe and comment below. I do read and reply to all of them because I appreciate your feedback. And remember, life begins where the pavement ends.